Here we go. Oh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Lights. Camera. Watch. Um, we're gonna, um, as you may or may know, if you just tune into this channel, it's just, um, I forget all that stuff. Um, the, the, uh, uh, this channel, I, I, I sort of, um, how do you say, chronicle life stories that I have for other reasons. That's how the channel started. But since the ADS movement or ADS reality has come my way, I've been trying to incorporate my, my, knowledge or whatever with ados the the, the american descendants of chattel slavery a reality that, that, that lineage okay now uh, i have a huge well a uh, film okay i'm gonna start from the very basics uh let me see this one let me see notes just i don't want to i guess i didn't make that many notes um 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 i spent some uh my set uh, I'm just gonna do movie sets, okay? I've had a long history in, in film, film studies, and da 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 da. Okay, but I once, uh, I once, I was um, uh, crafts. I worked craft service in the early 2000s, um, and um, one of the craft service uh, jobs that I had um, was a thing. I worked for The Sopranos. Uh, half of the, for, the, the end of the first season. How was it? I think it was the beginning of the second, some, some of the second season, but the third season was my thing. So basically, I think it's part of the second season, or part of the first season, and the, the, the second season, all of the third season, and part of the, I don't know about the fourth season. Um, I will say this, um, in doing that, oh, let me get my, oh, what I got here? Um, so craft service is which basically, uh, you, you, you have catering, right? But that's, the, that's your meals. But you know, in film work, Man, you know, like say a cinematographer, that boy is just into it, you know what I mean? Or woman, they're into it, right? And uh, they don't eat, you know? So you basically go out and get them nourishment. So the first thing I did every morning, I gave them a, a tablet of, of vitamin C, you know, like that. And this is the whole crew, right? I what I just did. This is the whole crew with, 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 with vitamin C. That was always a hit with everybody. Now my, um, and then you basically you snack them all the way through the, the thing. And snack means, of course, you know, you have extras, that's a whole separate thing. Then you have, um, um, you have the crew, you know, you have the, the whole crew, you know, the, the, the location people, the, the, all of the, um, the Teamsters, all the rest of that stuff. Now, if you were craft service, um, Basically, you're there from the beginning to the very end, okay? And it's one of those kind of jobs, you know. If they have a 16-hour day, basically, your age is like $18, you know, something like that, okay? Now, the first thing you have to know, um, to show you what the, and, and, and crews are about relationships, especially when you go out on uh, on location. Now, the thing is that we had two, one week we would be in studio at Silver Cup Studios, right? The next week we'd be in location someplace in New Jersey, usually, or maybe even New York, but usually in Jersey. It was a whole house that we had the Sopranos house, right? Now, uh, that was owned by somebody. We just used a certain part of the house, you know, whatever it is. Okay. Um, now, the first thing we use, especially for craft service, everybody needs their coffee in the morning. You should be a really good coffee maker. This is ironic. I don't actually drink coffee, but I make good coffee, I'm told, okay? So the first thing you have to do, you make friends with the electrician, the electric, the electric truck. And usually the craft services buy the electric because the first thing they do, they roll out and they throw that electric line out there and you got to hook everything up for your craft service truck. Here's, here's a little truck. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to jump off that now. But also, also the craft service <laughs> type of person, like if something happens on set, everybody's busy. I mean, craft service is busy too, but they're not as busy. You know, so people come and they, like therapy, it's like your kitchen, it's around the, uh, it's, it's, you know, the, 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 the camera people in some trucks, someplace like that, but the craft service truck is always available, and the little snacks, and everybody comes to you, and they, they tell you a little this and a little that, you know, you're almost like the, you're almost like a psychologist on, on set, okay, if you're really good. Now, since I come from theater, I'm a stage manager and also director, director is nothing but a psychological kind of thing, so I was actually good at talking to people. Now, I was assistant to a woman named Deborah Ferran. Now, now Debbie... She was like, she's hard. She worked, she worked a lot of Woody Allen films, but she was just hard. I mean, she's just a hard woman, you know. And I'm the exact opposite. I'm gregarious and I'm fun, blah, 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 blah. So, th so it was interesting. I love that dynamic. Plus, she was smart. I mean, she knew food. She knew, I mean, she just knew stuff. I learned a lot of stuff about food from, from Debbie Hope. Even things like this, like chlorophyll, you know, in the morning. Sorry. Like chlorophyll. But I learned from Debbie, but, but you, know, you, you, you find out things like that. You know, they have things like that on set. Maybe, if they're hip. I don't know what they're doing these days, right? So anyway, 
So it was, we had, I think, Sopranos at that time, we just had a really good down there. The fact, and here's the way, oh man, at some particular point, end of the third season, somewhere in the maybe the beginning of fourth season, um, one of the producers, and we were in the elevator together going up when we were the Silver Cup Studios, and he, he basically asked me if I wanted to take over craft service because, because of the dynamic. I said, oh no. <laughs> oh no, not that responsibility. But it's just, no, my I knew I wasn't going to be there for, for long. Anyway. Okay, now here's what I here's what I say. Okay, this, the reason why the third season is so good because I was on craft service. Do, 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 do. I'll wait for you to say, oh, please, bro. That's the dynamic. I'm trying to tell you, there's three to court that you can build in any position. A location person, that 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 just as a jokester. Uh, uh, the 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 props person that that's so efficient. The 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 stunt people, you know, that that talks to people. That anybody can make a difference on a set or, or, or mess up a set. They're hair and makeup people, you know, any any little thing, you have no idea. Especially some actor, whatever, anything can, can. the reason why some actors keep on getting hired because people just like them. When I say people, I don't mean other actors, the set likes them. Um, somebody like Mel Gibson, right? He would come, like I say, crap says you gotta maybe take water. He would come, you know, he would just come and take a, 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 a five gallon, whatever, jug of one, haul us someplace for you. And you go like, what? this is the star. Like, but that's just his nature. You see what I'm saying? So, okay, I'm gonna get into that. So what I'm trying to say to, to, to this dynamic of a set is very important. And also there's the dynamic, there's all kinds of relations and dynamics, the dynamic of the director and the, everybody. I bring all this stuff up because there's a lot of stuff that's been happening lately. Uh, uh, Mahershal Ali being chose for Blade, uh, some Nigerian woman playing uh, Harry Tubman, whatever have you. Now, so that's, there are problems, right? Especially, say, for instance, I, I didn't see Selma, but you know, but, but come on, it's a Nigerian guy playing Martin Luther King, you know? Uh, here's the thing. When you come from another culture, and then you say you go on, so you go any, forget to say, like I'm in, I, I'm right now I'm in Harlem, but I mean, I'm in, in Africa. You know, you have all kinds of Africans come from, well, in South Africa, where my school, university for here, you have all kinds of people come from all kinds of where. Now you notice that the Nigerians will band together. You know, notice that the Malawians will band together. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the, the, the Zimbabweans will band together. The South Africans will band together. It's just a sort of natural thing, because what you're getting from your 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 culture, you're getting some reinforcements, the same food, whatever have you, the language, all the rest of that stuff. So it's a natural thing. Um, so what happens is, like when when you come to another country, the same thing, you sort of band together, right? But we're acting. There's something else happening here. So. If uh, if uh, if I want to do the black experience, like uh, what's uh, that guy, Idris Elba, I mean, he said he learned black culture, but he knew he's hanging out, you know what I mean? All those kind of little blackisms, you know, that, that you have. But that's indication. You know, that's, that's imitation and indication. Because that, you know what I mean, for instance, that just, just nobody used to say, you know what I mean? That came from a whole thing from, you know, you, to, 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 to build up to that. And then you just have a whole culture gets to that. So you can, uh, the, the, the art of acting is to react, right? But you can react to it, but if you react as a, as a, as a, as a I'll cut to the chase. Here, I wish I'm saying. Whoopi Goldberg, when she did, um, when she did Color Purple, she had no acting experience, right? So to shortcut things, Steven Spielberg would say things, you know, like, and then he would name some sort of things. So I'm just going to be, I don't even say this, but say, you know, like, like, um, uh, 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 no, no, I don't know. This name, just I can't do this off the top of my head. But, 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 say I'm just doing a classic, like Dorothy Damages. No, I shouldn't say Dorothy. That's just way, way out there. You know, that's 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 too, that's too much. Like, um, you know, like uh, name any 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 thing that like like. Like 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 uh, what's that uh, prissy whatever in Gone of the Wind like she did so so basically the short the shorthand with that Whoopi Goldberg was imitating a character that she saw on screen okay so so you get those stereotypes because you're imitating it doesn't come from you somebody is is giving you an uh, an idea and then you see that idea and then you sort of do it that way there's something different that comes when it comes from you when it comes from you, when you tap into right, what we work with, what ADOS is calling your lineage, and it's more than just your lineage because you, it's almost like, I, I, I can't, uh, let me give you a personal thing. 
I played a character once. This is why I don't act. Uh, in, in, in college, you know, I, we, the, every Brooks, we, we were doing a play called Death of a Plain Child. Right? And I had to play a white southern mayor, okay? How do you do that? I'm not white. I'm not southern mayor. But I know the culture. I mean, no, I know of that, those kind of things. But what I did, I made this character a lizard, okay? A lizard. And, and and of course I because I, I grew up with all the all the so called prejudice, with all no knowledge of Jim Crow, the knowledge of 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 of, of, um, of um, a lynching, that's in my DNA. You see what I'm saying? I don't have to have seen a lynching to 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 to, 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 to somehow it's it, it's in my it's in my lineage, you see? So when I played the Southern mayor, I played him as a lizard, but that lizard what you see? And, and when we was coming close to the to the to the player, I had a girlfriend at the time, uh, uh, Terry, bless your heart, Terry, I should have, no, me and Terry were great. We did lie to the jewels together. I'm not going to tell you what I do. Anyway, at one time, you know, I woke up in the morning. I don't know what I was doing, but she looked at me, and she kept this face. She, I can see this face right now. She said, you are Stuart. Metamorphosis Stuart. Somebody like, 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 um, like Robert De Niro, who changes every time, you know, and that's that's really tough too because you become that person. But luckily, he plays Italian Americans and stuff like that, you know. All I'm trying to say is, some people can handle it, some people can't. Right? I'm one of those people. I get so far involved, I can never, I cannot act. I can't do it because for, for me to just not do something to a complete, I go crazy. I say all this stuff to say. So when you have somebody playing a Harry Tubman and they're indicating, you will see the screen, the microphone. The camera does not lie. You can, f you, you just know, you know. Like again, the guy that played uh, uh, Martin Luther King. I didn't see the film, so actually, comic. Martin Luther King it was different than Jeffrey Wright playing Martin Luther King. Now Jeffrey Wright has that lineage somehow. He has it, and, 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 and the caliber of actor he is, right? That um, I again, I didn't see the the, the, uh, the four, whatever, whoever, the, 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 I'm not, not four, whoever that guy was, right? But I can tell you right now, all indications that Jeffrey Wright, even though he's light skinned, is going to be a better Martin Luther King than somebody who, 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 who the lineage goes through from from Britain to Nigeria to wherever. You see, if person, somebody who grew up in the experience, it's just going to be different because they're drawn from different places. Plus, remember Jeffrey or whoever you're, you're hanging around with other people. You're growing up with other people. I asked this person, this this this, this person, uh, this. Nigerian, if he was Nigerian, I said, "Well, where'd you have your first fight?" And so I don't fight, blah blah blah. But if you're a black American, I'm gonna tell you, if you're ADOS, American descendant of child slavery, and I ask you that question, where'd you have your first fight? You gonna tell me, where, wherever it was, <laughs> whatever ghetto, wherever it was, you had a fight when you was whatever. And I say, wherever you had your first fight, that's where you was made. You get it? Okay. So this whole thing about these actors coming in and playing roles or whatever, having it's different. Somebody like Mahershala Ali, who who grew up in a black experience, is, Mahershala Ali said, "What's kind of well? I think he's a black Muslim or something like that." You know, so the names don't mean anything. You have to know their lineage, and uh, he you could see in other you could see in other parts he was auditioning for Blade, right? Just like just like Black Panther, there's a there's a uh, uh, a film. Oh, I forgot the name. Uh, a message from from a king or something like that that they did before Black Panther. If you watch that film, you see all the elements of Black Panther. That the language, whatever. He's a black American. It, Playing a South African it wasn't all that great, but all the the, the the physicalness you can see, he was auditioning for black not 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 what not actually auditioning, but that's how it comes out. You can see from that when you look at Mahershala Ali. I'm telling you, he did roll something with his sword, but you can tell he was you know he was doing that. So when he was two Academy Awards, and by the way, why did he win that first Academy Award? Forget the whole no, he didn't play a gay person, but forget the whole gay mafia, you know, wanting that film to be done, right? Because so many black actors, right, before, even as the, as the, the, the Oscar So White, whatever, movement came in, there was inroads, we were, you know, the, the voting pattern changed in Hollywood. So all of a sudden, a whole a bunch of old white people voting for something like that. They had more, you know, more black people, more women, whatever have you. So that's why you see the Oscars now, they're getting a bit more so-called diverse with, 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 with people, right? So, 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 so for Mahershala Ali to win Academy Award back two years in a row with questionable characters, I'm sure he's saying like, I'm tired of playing these Negroes that 
them that hold up white people, man. I got to do something black, and I pro I bet you, I bet you dollars to donuts. I don't even gamble, but his agent or somebody, or his little mother, when I said, "Yo, Blade's coming up. I'm playing Blade. I got two Academy Awards. I'm box office. The white people love me. The black people, or well, maybe black people don't really love him, but you know, I got the chops. I'm going to be Blade." I don't care if I'm 40, whatever it says, you know, that it should be somebody in their early 30s. I don't care. I'm playing Blade. Then guess what? He going to play Blade. <laughs> that, I mean, it's because it's all of a business, of relationships, all the rest of that stuff. So unless you are in the industry, you need to just, okay, you're just going to be, you're a peanut gallery person. You're the ba balcony. You know, let me hear from the cheap seats. Unless you, in, and you understand this dynamic. So everybody, just chill. Just, look, if you, ha you have, in your own belly, you have your specialty. Comment on your specialty. If you can pull your specialty to, to comment on, on something, you know, in the popular realm, then do it. But 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 the, this, you don't understand what I'm saying. Me, understand me. T, Thunder Patterson's taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a location. We say this South Africa. They will quote Tasha from a location of the. A-D-O-S, that would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.